Act Investor here, bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking a look at ticker symbol S A E X. That's Say Exploration Holdings Incorporated or South American Exploration Holdings Incorporated, I believe. Anyways, that's not so relevant. What is relevant is the technicals. Let's get right to those. So I'm sure you guys remember this ticker S A E X from last week when this thing ran from about the seven and a half dollar area to seventy five dollars. That is a 1,000% increase in the course of about two and a half days. Absolutely insane. And the day that it hit 75, it ran from about 40 to 75. So that was almost a 100%er right there. Just an absolutely insane stock. This thing is a total beast. But since then, it fell off really hard, crashing all the way from about $35 to about $17, losing you know half its gains there from the $35 area. And then it kind of found some consolidation. But Today, we broke that consolidation. So let's discuss those pivot points. The first one we have is 1720. 1720 right down here. And then we have 1695. Right here. So this ticker, this stock was just kind of hovering around here for the last few days since it ran and consolidated after that big decrease. And then midday, a bunch of volume out of nowhere, and this thing just, boom, soared right up. The bids stacked up, everything went really well, and it made some lower, rather some higher lows on the chart before falling off once again. Now the reason for that, if you look over here, you can see the volume, those blue bars, all the volume basically staircase mode down. It tried to make one little comeback here. And the good thing about that is if the volume didn't come back on this candle to the upside, we probably would have seen it break that back down here and fall back to this channel. So the bulls were strong enough to keep this above the channel, support 1720. As long as we hold above that, we have a chance at another run. But if we fall back down below, then we might find consolidation back in this channel again. And I'm sure the markets won't like that. If we fall back into this channel, there's a chance that we sell off even more, break the support at 1695 and then fall off even lower. But for now, we are above 1720, so let's see if that holds. The averages are not entirely bullish, but they're not entirely bearish. Right now, they're about neutral. The bull setup would be purple, green, yellow, but we have green, purple, yellow. So both averages are above the yellow 50 period average, which is good. But at the same time, the 20 is above 13, which is also not great. So we want to see these curve back around and have that 20 get below the, the 13. So it's 13, 20, 50. But for now, that's not the case. We'll have to see what it does tomorrow. And as you guys have seen on multiple occasions now, when the volume comes in on the stock, it can absolutely skyrocket. Our site is oversold, so let's take a look at those oversold points. Went oversold over here on that red candle. Previous oversold point from overbought right here. So major increase on the oversold areas. But then at the same time, we are also now breaking out of oversold. We just need that slow average to break up as well. And let's take a look at where we are breaking up from oversold on this area. So boom right there so once again this is a little bit of a better indicator seeing where we were breaking up from oversold and once again it is a higher spot so definitely gonna be on the watch list for tomorrow but it is a bit of a risky play you can see these candles had some major extension let's take a look at this one for example this red candle you know if you saw this thing running two green candles here and then you buy in well you probably got stopped out if you had a tight stop you bought it in around 1870 1880 and this candle had a low of about 1790 so that's almost a whole dollar range so it definitely wasn't the easiest play in the world if you didn't get in on those first two candles if you got in somewhere in the middle you could have got burned especially if you got in around here when it sold off so if you were one of those people hopefully you had a stop loss in place otherwise you probably got burned all the way back down to 17 and a half 1720 area and that would be no good at all but we'll see what it does tomorrow it might make a recovery just keep an eye out for that volume that's all I have to say about this ticker for now, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like or subscribe or both. That's cool, too, and you're more than welcome to join us in our chat at activeinvestors.net. We'll see you there.